Bit forced. <laughs> we lied. You thought we were playing another scary game, didn't you? You thought we were playing Five Nights at Freddy's. We fucking lied. <laughs> we're we're going to be playing Sonic. Happy Halloween. I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> we're all we're all drunk here. Welcome to Drunk Force. It's Josh's birthday. Yay! Happy birthday, me. Happy birthday to you. We are actually pretty. Well, I'm pretty cut. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you and kind of jumped ahead and started drinking when I was. Josh got a text. I've been drinking for like three hours. Yeah. Josh, like, I haven't finished work yet. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I've got a drink here with me. I've got some whiskey. There so this is drunk force as it is Josh's birthday. We are celebrating. Yeah, we're, we're taking playing. we're taking a break from Spook Force to celebrate my birthday. Um, we are playing Josh's favorite game. Well, what am I? We're gonna, what we're doing? This is what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna just run through all as the Sonic. much Sonic as yeah, you can, as much Sonic as we can. So if I can get to the end of this, whilst we get progressively drunk. Exactly. It's Josh gonna... has had half a drink. I'm probably gonna have more. I've lost count. <laughs> Break up. Indeed. It was work, Josh. Uh, work was boring. So what did you get for your birthday? Uh, <laughs> I got uh, Avengers Edge Voltron on Blu-ray, and I got money from my mother. Who the fuck do you know this? We're recording this a week in advance. Oh, <laughs> you've ruined it now! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, did you just fucking type? Oh, you didn't do it in under a minute. Do it again. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, th that time I was actually doing it quite slow. But, uh, no, I know that because, uh, I told my mom to get me that, and she was like, I okay. have not a fucking clue what I'm getting for my birthday. We well, see, the problem is, is that my mom knows that she can't, she can't hide anything from me. She can hide nothing. No matter how she... tried she... to hide my twin, and I found him. <laughs> well, she tried to hide the fact that I was born a girl, but... <laughs> That did not work. <laughs> what was your What was your birth name then? What, Joshuina? No, Joanna. Joanna. <laughs> Why did I think of that? <laughs> um. No, I kid you not. My mum's. Uh, I asked my mum uh, a couple of years ago. I was like, if I was born a girl, what would have my name been? So it would be Joanna. Well, my mum went. I knew you were a boy. So. <laughs> well, my mum. I, I can't remember if this is actually, if I'm remembering this wrong or if this is actually true. But I'm pretty sure because my brother's name's Christian. And I'm pretty sure my mum, if my mother was born a girl, it would have been named after your mother. Yeah, it would have been called Christina after my mother. Um, but alas, born, well, born a girl. Beth was born an earache. Born. My little sister. Oh, my right, mum yeah. thought she had an earache. Went to the doctor. Was like, "Yep, you're pregnant." It's like, "Fuck! I didn't even have sex." <laughs> <laughs> Beth, thanks for the medical image. It was a, a virgin birth. <laughs> oh, my, 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 miracle my, birth. My sister is, <laughs> the, com virgin birth. is, the, is the next Christ. So, well, so it wouldn't be a virgin birth though, so it doesn't count. Right, enough talking about my mother's sex life, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Kirkpatrick. Um, remember we were talking about Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon? Yeah. I got. Although no one probably would have yeah. seen that episode, so. But, but remember we were talking about it. Yeah. For those of you that explain, don't know, explain it to. For those of you that don't know, is that you can connect anyone to Kevin Bacon. Captain it's Bacon. Kevin Bacon. All right, I thought, I'm sure. It's no. Like, maybe it was just the fact that I'm wearing headphones, but it really sounded like you said Captain Bacon. I said Kevin Bacon, right? <laughs> you can connect anyone to Kevin Bacon. It's easily done through actors. My mum thought she had a hard one by saying William Roach, who plays Ken Barlow in Corey. I'd, and I've fucking done it. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't watch British soaps. I don't. I, I don't. I've I, I done it. I can't remember how. I've done it through. How did I do it? Ken Roach. No, Ken Barlow. <laughs> Ken, Ken Barlow. William Roach, who's who plays Ken Barlow. Yeah, not Ken Roach. Is in, is in Corey. There's yeah. a guy who's in Corey who's in an episode of Absolutely Fabulous with Joanna Lumley. Yeah. How did I get to Joanna... How did I get to... <laughs> to Kevin Bacon through Joanna Lumley? I've done it through Joanna Lumley somehow. <laughs> Can't remember how I've done it. Boss time! Oh my god, bearish bed. Oh look, it's Dr. Robotnik! Wait, you, you're, you're a fucking Sonic nerd. Yeah. Why did it go from Robotnik to Eggman? It didn't go from Robotnik to Eggman. He, he's still known as Dr. Robotnik, it's just that Sonic started calling him Eggman as an insult, as a joke, and it sort of just grew on him. Dr. Eggman. Yeah, it, and I mean, I don't, I'm pretty sure... What the fuck are those little things? Bunnies. Why is Sonic saving the bunnies? Right, I should probably explain. There is a backstory to this, right? Really? Because it hasn't explained it at all. Believe it or not, Sonic, I'm, as far as I know, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say this as if it's a fact. It's probably not, but I'm pretty sure Sonic is one of the earliest versions of a game that has uh, a continuous story through it. Also has an alternate ending, as well. Right. What right. is it? Is Sonic actually a Metal Gear spin-off or some shit? No, 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 no. It's not a Metal Gear spin-off. What do you say? No. What? Right. I'll explain to you what's happened in this game. Right. In this game, Sonic, uh, sorry, Doctor Robotnik has kidnapped a bunch of these fluffy little animal things and he's imprisoned them in robots. Right. He uses the animals to power the robots, which he then just, you know, uses the robots for evil stuff. And Sonic has sort of tasked himself with saving all these bunnies, <laughs> which right. is why whenever you kill Sonic the Hedgehog, saver of the bunnies. Yeah, well, it's not just bunnies, it's uh, the, these animals called flickies, which are basically just little birdies. Right. But it's like a made up animal. Like, when I destroy this, you see the animal gets released from it. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's what happened. That's been, that's I Sonic. have never noticed this. Yep. And in that's all my years of gaming. And that's basically what happens. Uh, that's the gist of this game. However, right. um, it expands a bit into the next game mm -hmm. because uh, there are these things called uh, the Seven Dragon Ball. I mean, Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> However, in this game, the so six... the Chaos Emeralds doesn't come into the second until, until the second game. Well, the Chaos Emeralds are in this game, but there's only six of them. Right. But uh, the seventh but, uh, one. The seventh, right? This. I'll, 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 let me get there, right? In the six, uh, there's only six one in this game, but they don't do anything. Right. right, because you need seven of them in order to be able to use them, uh, use their power. And you have to stir the planet Namek. Yeah. <laughs> summon Shenron. You have to, you have to summon uh, the Eternal Dragon, Shenron. No, uh, right, to become Super Saiyan, I mean Sonic. Um, <laughs> Are you telling me that Sonic follows the plot of Dragon Ball? I'm not saying that it's... it's You're not saying it is. I'm not saying they've denied it. <laughs> um, but no, right, so in this game that you've got the six Chaos Emeralds, mm -hmm. which you can collect all of them, however, that would be an incorrect ending to the game. The right ending to this game would be that you don't collect the six emeralds, because what happens is that Robotnik collects the six emeralds instead, and that he finds the seventh emerald. Right. And he uses the seventh emerald to then power his uh, death egg machine, which is uh, a giant spaceship. Do you fucking say death egg? Death egg. That's the name of his. Uh, that's the name of his starship, which is essentially, which is essentially the. <laughs> <laughs> it's essentially the Death Star, but it's called the Death Egg, right? right. It's also got his face all like all across the front of it. He's a bit of a fucking egomaniac, isn't he? He is indeed an egomaniac, and that is present in every single Sonic game. You don't have a drink. You can keep talking, and I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna fill up your drink because you need to cat play cards. Yeah, I have one. You know what, right? You know what, right, guys? We'll okay. be back. We'll be right back in a second while we refill drinks. Right, we're back. I've got my drink again. Okay, so where was I? All right, that's right. Um, I didn't, you didn't even answer me. Oh god, I need to get past this. Okay, so, um, Dr. E uh, Dr. Robotnik collects the seven Chaos Emeralds so that he can, And he um, makes it a Death Egg star. And he makes, a death, he makes a Death Egg Machine. The first iteration of the de Death Egg Machine, which doesn't look like the Death Star, by the way, it just looks like a spaceship. Um, and what happens is that Sonic collects all the seven Chaos Emeralds mm -hmm. and then destroys the Death Egg, um, and Robotnik escapes, as always. Right, and that leads you into the third Sonic game, where... Wait, so we've totally skipped the second game here. No, that was the second game. second game's where it has a death egg and stuff like that. Oh shit, I thought you were still talking about the first one. No, 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 I'm talking about, I was talking about the second one there. Oh my god. What? The first one is literally you just save the thing, you save the, the animals and you defeat the body. That's it, that's all that happens. So there's no Chaos Emeralds in this one? There are Chaos Emeralds, but they don't do anything. Right. And collecting them would be the wrong ending of the game. Cause, oh my god. Because Dr. Robotnik needs to collect them in order for the second game to happen. Right? But you collect them in the second game and you defeat Robotnik and whatnot. And then Robotnik's uh, death egg, or he, not his death egg, he crash lands on Angel Island um, where where Knuckles lives. Now, the Knuckles, the, the echidna. Knuckles, the echidna. And echidnas have three pronged penis. It does indeed. You're absolutely right. And they also they have mating rituals. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. You fucked up, Josh. Yeah, I need to do that again. Um, they have mating rituals where they all stand in a line, and uh, they all and the uh, the female uh, has to determine uh, a suitable mate by um, sniffing the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that a lot in nightclubs, anyway. Yep. Okay, <laughs> just, so, just so guys all, it's like all all the guys standing at the bar and then the women just like going around with them all sniffing. Your ass smells like like uh, Africa. You'll do. <laughs> oh, you got a suitable mate for me. Anyway, so, right? so yeah, the plot of you know, we're on Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah, okay. we're on Sonic Sonic Three and Knuckles, where right. basically uh, 
Dodger Eggman crash lands on Angel Island and he meets Knuckles, right? And basically Sonic's on his way to Angel Island to uh, kick Robotnik's ass. Mm -hmm. And uh, Robotnik manages to convince Knuckles that Sonic has uh, stolen the Chaos Emeralds and plans to do evil things and that Sonic's actually the bad guy. So what Knuckles does is that he goes to apprehend uh, Sonic um, as he reaches Angel Island and then he steals all the Chaos Emeralds back from him. Secretly though, Robotnik had done that just so he could uh, then um, use the Chaos Emeralds to build another Death Egg and do his whole evil scheme I think again. you'll find this Death Egg is quite operational. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> now witness the power of this fully operational battle station. <laughs> the attack on my life has left me scarred. <laughs> Help me, Knuckles. I'm too weak. I'm too weak. <laughs> Knuckles is actually Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Sonic is the enemy, not me. <laughs> what, Why does, does that sound like Ben? Does that, does that make Sonic... Mace Winder. Uh, basically, yeah. Which means that Sonic is destined to die. Uh, <laughs> what did my friend said about Mace Winder? He said what would make uh, episode 3 the greatest is this, that moment. <laughs> he what? said, nothing ch just change nothing except from one moment. The moment where, uh, you know, Emperor's all unlimited power. <laughs> Samuel's like, ah, motherfucker! This <laughs> is going out the window. <laughs> Just that, uh, you know when he's getting like, yeah, does that, does that Samuel L. Jackson? Fucker. Right, I've just realized something. Star Wars Episode 3, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Oh my god. Uh, so hey. Sonic the Hedgehog. Basically, Sonic is basically just ripping off everything. Wait a minute. Dragon Star Ball Z Star Wars Star Wars. Star Wars came out after Sonic, so you're, what you're really saying is Star Wars ripped off Sonic the but Hedgehog. the Death Egg, right, still ripped off from the Death Star. Came out before Sonic. Oh my god. But yeah, like, I'm starting to see the Dragon Ball fucking. Yeah, dra the Dragon Ball thing, even though I don't know if they've, uh, like, confirmed it or anything, but it's definitely. Taken Do you know, it. little factoid, why Akira Toriyama invented the Super Saiyan face? The Super Saiyan face? The Super Saiyan, like, why he created Super Saiyan? In the original manga. What you mean, like, not just the Saiyan race, but... The, no, no, the... why he created the form Super Saiyan oh, in Dragon okay. Ball Z, the right, manga. Okay, okay yeah. Well, why, why? Do you know why he done it? No. To save time. To save time. Because he what? couldn't be bothered colouring in Goku's hair all the time. So he created the Super Saiyan form because the Dragon Ball manga was printed in black and white. Yeah, Goku's so hair was just white. Yeah, so it just so, white. So to save him from colouring in Goku's hair, he was like, fuck it, Super Saiyan. Easy peasy, mate. Easy peasy. I don't know why he just didn't make his cow ca uh, cow ca uh Kaioken. Kaioken. Uh, is Kaioken form like? Because kind of probably out. didn't think about it at the time. And they probably, ah, no! He probably just went. I can't be bothered with I'm this gonna anymore. Die. Sonic. Do you wanna go? Oh fuck! Oh man, what? What is this? Fucking! Why are you make me play Sonic? Because you hate Sonic, and it'll be fun to see you actually give it a try, and then be like, oh wait, ah, okay. <laughs> there we go. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You did that on purpose. You I did not. Bitch. I didn't know I had no rings. All right. Anyway, let me get back to the. How did I have no rings? Did I? There was some right there, and you missed them. Okay. Right, let me get back to the Sonic story. I'm gonna mm. go this way instead. Uh, so basically, uh, Sonic, not Sonic, Dr. Robo uh, Robotnik um, convinces Knuckles to steal back the Chaos Emeralds for him so he can power his Death Egg machine. But, Sonic, in typical Sonic style, manages to get the Chaos Emeralds back and then destroys his Death Egg again. <laughs> uh, his Death Egg then crash lands back on Angel Island in, on top of a volcano, um, to which, um, Dr. Robotnik discovers the Master Emerald, which is a big green emerald, which governs, which basically governs the, uh, the Emeralds. Just like that. Okay? So um, it's all very Doctor Who now. So he uses the Master Emerald to, uh, to repair his Death Egg machine, and then, um, basically Sonic goes and stops him. Where does Tails come into all of this? Basically, Tails just came into the second game just as a sort of buddy cop okay. type thing. Now, where does Shadow come into all of this? Shadow is in a Sonic Adventure 2. Where um, is Amy in all of this? <laughs> Amy comes into it at Sonic CD, um, where basically she kind of comes in out of nowhere, but Dr. Robotics kidnaps Amy. I didn't mean to do that once again. Uh, so, where does where does Mario come into all of this? Let's see if I can... Uh, well, you fucked up again. I did. Sorry, I, I thought you were meant to be MLG Pro with this. Sorry, I'll make it work. I just need to go back. It's just that I keep, I keep forgetting where, where I'm going. Um, 
Anyway, yeah. Uh, Amy gets kidnapped by Dr. Robonic in Sonic CD. And this goes Sonic Plus Sever. And that's where you meet Metal Sonic. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> metal like, Sonic? Yep, basically Dr. Robonic made uh, uh, a metal... A, a robot version of Sonic to fight Sonic. Funny thing Fuck is, is that that's not Hedgehog, man. that's not even the first iteration of Metal Sonic. There was a different version called Mecha Sonic, and then after that there was uh, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't even know what you call it. Uh, I guess you call it Robot Sonic. I guess. I just don't get the hype, man. I don't get why people love Sonic so much. Like my buddy Colin loves Sonic. Like I ah. <laughs> oh, calm down, dear. Uh, right, let me have another. Still a mistake, man. Let me have another bash. Right, let's fucking do this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not showing off my my true power of my operational battle station. If you know what I mean. Right. If you know what I mean. Uh, right. You know what I, mean. I, I know what I mean. No, I'm right. That you are actually a spaceship. Uh, no, that's not what. Nah. Oh, oh god, oh god. Gotta go, gotta go fast. Exactly. Gotta go fast. Oh my god, too fast. Too if you don't if you don't go fast, then it's not worth doing, my friend. Ah, oh, you're not going fast enough. Too fast. That's what it is. If you if you die for any reason, it's because you're not going fast enough. Too fast. Too fast for too you. Fast. Now, um, Shadow comes into it where basically uh, Dr. Robotnik's uncle. What? Uh <laughs> Called Doctor, because Doctor Robotnik's real what? name. <clears throat> Why didn't that fucking kill him? I fucking jumped on his head. That's video game logic, right? Where, where the fucking like? Oh, where the buttons here? Yep, button. Come on, use your Mario logic. Fucking, fuck off. Mario's a much superior game to this than this pile of trash. <laughs> Do you want me to smash this glass over your skull? <laughs> Do you want to fuck? Is that it? You're just gonna lose your shit and glass me yeah. over Sonic. Don't you dare say shit about Sonic. He's the best thing in the world. Oh God, no. Um, look at this. Look at this balancing act. He's like clearly. On the fucking ledge, he's just like, oh, fuck, look, at, look at me, I'm fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, look at me. He's balancing because if he, he's, he's on the edge. He's on the I'm edge on the edge. edge. A glorious and Lady Gaga. Um, Fully enough, I read in a magazine. Oh, shit. In the, in the Sonic comic book. Back when I was a little wee kid. Right? That apparently. This was a factoid. From the official Sonic comic book. Don't move, oh, shit, move, shit, move, shit, move. shit, 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 um, shit. Dr. Robotnik wasn't always an evil mad genius. Oh my god. He was in fact just a normal scientist. And uh Oh too he, fast. And he was he was turned evil Oh up. no. He was turned evil by an evil experiment. What what evil experiment could possibly No I don't know, but apparently he turned evil and that his his original name oh was my god, Dr. Dr. Kinterbar. What the fuck is this fuck I'm fucking Oh what, what's wrong with you man? Um, you got me a checkpoint so I'm glad I'm, I'm, I got fucking further than you did, so fuck yeah, but now when you die, I, I don't need to go all the way. You don't need here. to do all the fucking work because yeah, I've fucking done thanks, it. Man. You did me a favor. Exactly, I did. But you're doing it. Happy it. fucking birthday! I did. <laughs> I did all the fucking hard work for you. Is that my gift? Thanks, man. I that's your that's it. your birthday present. That's all you're fucking getting. <laughs> yeah, no, Doctor Doctor Robotnik's original name. Oh my god! Let me finish. God damn it! Doctor Robotnik's original name was Doctor Kinterbar, which is Doctor Robotnik backwards. And then when he became evil, he changed his name to Doctor Robotnik. Because remember, children. Oh no! Remember, if it, if it's evil, just, it's just, just put it like in. my evil name will be uh, Doctor. Uh, oh my God! Doctor, wait, wait, wait. Roll yet? Have I went, literally went back the way I came? No, 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 no. It's just that it's a maze. Funny enough, we actually get to a level which is what? called uh, the labyrinth. What is up with this fucking combat system? I don't fucking understand. We talk about cut right. Each enemy has a particular way of being defeated. The right, fact I, is, is you're used to this shitty Mario thing where you just jump on it and it dies. Well, no, how tactics, the, tactics. How the fuck do I fucking kill the caterpillar then? Right, jump on its head. That's what I was fucking. No, don't jump on its body. You have to jump on its head. That is just like this is a game for fucking children, right? Oh my god. Right? Are you trying to say that fucking Mario isn't a game for children? Mario requires skills. And this doesn't? You're struggling at playing it. I've got further than you fucking did. That's true, but oh, I also- Hell fucking black. Oh my god. You've just undone all of that effort. And you're gonna- you're gonna die. You're no, I'm not. You're going the wrong way now. No, you, oh no, you're going the right way, sorry. And oh, oh god. Yep. Right. Well, strangely enough, this is the harder Sonic- like- Sonic 2 right. and 3 are easier. This is a this. game about going fast, but there's a lot of standing around and going, Oh, I better wait for that trap, but oh, I'm starting the hedgehog. Fucking, oh, fuck off. Let's get one thing straight here. This game is not about going fast. Oh my lord in heaven. 
Oh, fuck a duck. Thank Christ. It's not further than you ever fucking did. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I was see. living off that one fucking ring. That's true. Yeah, you wouldn't let go. This is my ring! It's the precious! What's it doing? Stupid fat Robotnixes! No reference has ever been more suitable than that one. Because <laughs> it is actually a ring. I'll fucking destroy your ring. Please do. Whoa! Please do. Do it and do it hard. Oh, whoa! Oh, hey, oh, oh, hey. Yep. Let's not get a little bit uh, cozy, Josh. Well, I don't want to be cozy. I want you to make it as uncomfortable as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Happy fucking birthday. <laughs> <laughs> fucking take it! Sorry, I'm, I'm starting to get loud. You, you are. I was watching the fucking audio levels there and just <laughs> the peak. I was like, Jesus. Jeez, oh. Jeez, oh, Christ, oh. Oh, you get to fucking jump on. Oh, see. See? Fuck jump you. on its fucking head. I'll fucking jump on your head, right? We apologize for the oh, excessive uh, amount oh, of Oh, yeah. The fucking, the fucking bunny can run through lava. That's fucking fine, but we no. Are, we apologize for the excessive amount of language, but this is what you get when you. When you get a drunk Scotsman and a drunk Northerner, then yeah, it's just from the north. Uh, from the north I was north checking north. my Whoa. I was checking my time hop today, and you know, have you ever used time hop? I have not. Well, at the time hop's a Facebook thing, I imagine. It's yeah. not Facebook actually. It's not exclusive to Facebook. It's but not exclusive it is, to Facebook, but it is a thing mostly used on Facebook. Well, Facebook have tried to do their own version, but um, oh, yeah. you get a little dinosaur that is this mascot called Abe. Excuse me. Usually, at the bottom of every time hop, he has a little thing to say. Okay. And sometimes it's something funny, sometimes it's something sad. Like one time, because he's a little dinosaur, he literally put, all my friends are dead. <laughs> and you're like, oh my god, Abe. But today it just spread the North remembers. <laughs> the North remembers. You damn right remember. We'll never forget. Can we'll never forget know. what you did. Oh, I almost screwed up there. Gotta run and start. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. No! I didn't go fast enough. <laughs> That's what it is. Anything that goes wrong, I didn't go fast enough. Oh there. my god, there's a check. Boss fight. This one's actually. The easiest boss fight in all of the Sonic games. Is that is that the egg, de egg, Death Egg? No, that's that's his little flying machine. The Death Egg isn't in this game. It's in the second one. Which, if we get there, I'm hoping that we do. Is there? I wasn't listening. <laughs> I never no. listened to anything you had to say, Josh. That's alright. I'm gonna finish the level. And I'm gonna stick my dick in your ass. Whoa! Should we jump to Sonic 2? No, no. You're actually going to play this in its entirety. We're going we're gonna to try. We're going to try to do it. I don't even think we're going to get to any other fucking Sonic game. Well, then. one, uh, of course we will. Of course we will. This one's actually the longest uh, one just because it has three zones for every... Uh, sorry, three acts for every zone. Oh, wow. Good multi-kill there, but no rings. If, if you fucked up once there, that would have been it. Exactly. That's why it screws you up. unforgiving. There we go. Fuck my rings. Whoa. Whoa, fucking <laughs> motion sickness. The one thing, what is what is going on? <laughs> I don't understand Sonic. The one thing I love about Sonic, which everyone loves about Sonic, I think it's like the key thing that sort of made Sonic really good, was the music. Like Sonic has one of the most memorable soundtracks across all of the 2D uh, side scroller ones, anyway. Um, but of course, it's Sonic. <laughs> It's only for people who have actually played the game. If you haven't played the game, then you won't have heard the music. Except well, for maybe I've heard the song. music live in a big fucking horror. What is that? It's just a fucking Pokeball coming out here. Ash Ketchum's like, it's a Sonic! <laughs> no, I, when I went to see video games live back in March, February? Yep. Oh. oh, I can't remember when I went to see it. Uh, but they, they did Sonic. It was March because it was just before we started uh, Bitforce up. We didn't start Bitforce until like. Me. Yeah, but we had the plan. The plan was in March. Really? Yeah. Fuck. Like, cause wow. you, you talk to me and then, um, oh, I guess I'm going this way. Secrets. Uh, yeah. Well, has it been that long? Yeah, well, no, you, you first, right. Here's some, here's some uh, inside scoop for all you fans here. You messaged me back in March saying that you wanted to do it, and then, uh, but we didn't actually put any plans together until it got close to you moving back to Broxburn. Oh, yeah. Um, I remember that much because obviously, you know, I was at uni. So I remember, I actually remember Trying to the, get my life together. Yeah, I actually remember the exact moment that you messaged me because I was on my way um, back home from a long walk, and I was walking past what I didn't know at the time, but it was what walk past Blair's house. Um, when you actually when I actually got the text, oh, so, yeah, I remember that. It was a very big moment. For me. It was almost like a marriage proposal. It, that's basically like starting a YouTube channel is a big enough. Josh, will is. you YouTube with me? Well, no, like because a lot of people t uh, sort of don't see it as a big deal starting a YouTube channel, but I think 
if you if you want to be dedicated to it. Which we have been. We've tried. We've, we've... Well, let's put it this way. As of the 7th of October, which would have been yesterday, which has already passed, and when this video comes out, um, we would have got to our 100th video. Oh my god. 100, wow. 100 videos as of the 7th of October. So, yeah, that's how dedicated we've been. And the fact is, is that, you know, we may not, we may not have made anything. Sorry. But I, I enjoy it. Yeah, like, we may not have many subscribers and we don't get many views. That was I mean, shaped, those rings were shaped like a dick. Yeah, absolutely were. I mean, we may not get many views and we may not have many subscribers, but the fact is, is that I love recording it, I love editing it and putting it all together. I love, uh, uploading takes a very long time, but I love doing it. Um, oh. And you know, like the, to old, the only downside is Josh had to, has to spend a few hours with me a week. Like I would rather. Oh my god! Yeah. What? Uh -huh. uh, oh, fuck it! I feel sorry for Sonic. Right Sonic now. is in hell right now. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> uh, right. Okay. I can. I can do this. I can do this. Hold on. Let me just get the center stage. Oh my god! Ah! Uh, hold on. I, I've, got, I've, got, I've got. I've got. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Yay! To have it like to be to have a dedicated YouTube channel that you, you know put a lot of effort into, um, it's a big deal. And doing that with someone, you know, you put it's you've got to rely on that person to to have the same sort of motivation as you. Um, Which I try. Yeah. But to be honest, <laughs> the fact is is that you um, no matter what's going on, you you take the time out to record with me, come to my house and stuff like that. So you come to my house. In my house, the Chinese was something like that. my family on this very important day. Yeah. I'm nervous. But yeah, um, I would, funny, people would probably consider us the best of the buddies. I got asked a, a question. It's like, why is Josh your best friend? I thought I was your best friend. I got asked a question, was it yesterday or was it today? No, it was yesterday. I uh, was watching Pointless, um, and the guy said if he won, he was going to use the money to help pay for his friend Stag do because he was the best man. Yeah, yeah. And my mum just went, who would your best man be you? Because obviously I don't have any brothers. Yeah, yeah. And then she looked at me and she was like, oh, it's obvious, isn't it? The Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise, Josh, but oh, no, yeah. that man has known me since I was three years old. No, 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 that's <laughs> it's understandable. Um, it actually breaks my heart a little bit. Not because of the, oh, fucking you useless cock mother. Oh my God, we lost all of our lives. Wow, that's it, Sonic. We've, we've, that's I guess I guess we're moving on to Sonic Two. We'll see. We'll, we'll see you once we've loaded Sonic Two. Bye bye. Right, we're back with Sonic Two. Time for the death egg. Time for the, time for the and Miles Tails Prowl. Oh my God, Tails is a full name. Right, first thing we've got to do, get rid of fucking Tails. <laughs> <laughs> that poor bastard. Honestly, Tails pretty much ruins you for this game. Which especially if you're gonna go. To especially if you're gonna go for the seven kill symbols. Because basically tails, because you have to take tails with you into the special zones, or you also get spin dash in it. Right. Well, okay. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. something about you not being my best man breaks your heart because. No, like it's not because you you wouldn't have me as your best man. It's because I'm at this stage in my life that there's literally no one that I can consider to be. The, the, no, I, there's no one that would consider me to be their best friend that they would have me as their best man. Oh. Even my brother didn't have me as a, his best man what at his a, wedding. You, what a dick! He had he had he had my cousin uh, instead as his best man. Wow, um, that that's you know what? Boo to your brother. You should have been his best man. But I mean, the fact is, is that I I've come to terms with the fact that I might not ever be a best man for anyone. Um, which it, which is the heartbreaking part. If it makes you feel better, Josh, I don't think I'll ever be anyone's best man either. Well, I be, don't know. Be, like because. Colin might be my best man. I don't think he's the he's not a marriage kind of guy. He's yeah. just like he doesn't believe in marriage. He's a player. No, it's not that he's a player. He, he does he doesn't he doesn't like it's not like he doesn't believe in monogamy. It's just that well, he's always said to me he doesn't. He says is that, why is that would I have to pay like, all this money to tell someone I love them? Well, yeah, that's always just been his view on things. Marriage. If you if you have that view on marriage, then you need to forget about the idea of marriage and think of it more as like a, a legally binding. <laughs> yeah, thing. yeah. You know, like it's not that you're getting married to them; it's that you're letting the government know that you want to connect. You know, you want to be considered as one entity. You know, <laughs> more form into one. <laughs> that's, being. Basically, that's basically what it is. Yeah, yeah. I I would like to form in with this woman. <laughs> what is it? Did you just get to the courtroom and do a fucking? Oh, you skipped that checkpoint. 
37 boss. seconds and I met the boss. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, what do you, do gotta you, go fast. Gotta, fu gotta go fucking fast. But yeah, is it like they get to the courtroom and do the fusion dance from Dragon Ball? <laughs> That's it. No, they just put the earrings on. That's it. And there's fuse. Fusion. That's it. Ear right? Instead of, <laughs> instead of earrings, it's just a ring. And then you oh you. my god. I think, I think we've, uh, we've, we've, out we've cracked it. And I've also killed the Enjoy body. this for a few seconds. I'm going to grab another beer. Alright, we'll be back in a second, guys. So, so will I play. We have booze and we have returned. It feels like nothing has passed. Oh, Look at it? all these cute little- ah! Holy shit, look at that in the fucking audio. Yep. Well, watch out for you're, you're gonna have some fucking editing to do. Yeah. Anyway, let me let me finish what I was gonna say. I like how um before I uh, sorry, I really interrupted you there. Motherfucker. I do apologize. No, you can finish you can go No no no, you no, no I, I, you've I, already started. Say what you're no, gonna no, say. No 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 I should not have interrupted you. Right. No, I, I was just gonna finish off my really sad and lonely thought. Just the fact that, you know, um like if I if I was to have anyone as my best man at my eventual wedding, it would probably be you. No, yeah, oh, so you're guilt tripping me now, it's not No, no, not I'm not saying that because I would have you as my best man, you should have me as your best man, because it doesn't work like that. Yeah, the fact is, is that the way the way it works is that even though it's like a, I don't know, it's not a one-way thing being a best man, you know. It's not that like because one is one guy chooses his best man, he should choose him. It's mm. you know. It's, I'm glad you respect it. It is because like I have known Colin since we were three years old. Oh, I didn't even. So that. that's been nearly twenty years of friendship. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I can't have that with anyone at, at this mm. point. Like unless I get. And then there's my friend Mikey, yeah, who yeah, I've yeah. known for the same amount of time, but just not been as close to. Exactly. And the fact is, is that like the person I've known the longest who's managed to remain. Put up with you. Who's managed to <laughs> remain in my life uh, has been has been you. So and the fact that uh. we're doing Bitfoss together. Uh, that, I think that's. I would be honored to be your best man. Just... I guess in a way that this is me sort of asking you right now, but no, it's like I'm not getting married for, uh, yeah, exactly. for a bunch of years yet. So. But then again, I am turning 24, and I did tell my girlfriend that 25 is uh, sort of the, the starting age of when marriage is a consideration. So what, are you expect her to ask you? Uh, you uh, she's at, she's you. She, like a year from now, she's probably expecting me to. Ask her. I am. Um, I work really with this girl who has been with her boyfriend for five and a half years. Yeah. And she's she like like I, don't, I work with a guy and he another guy like and he was like how come he's not asked you to marry him yet and he like he grew up in Poland where like you're with what like the way he said the way he grew up you're with someone from like when you're 18 and then you marry them and that's it. He said he's been with the same women for like a, a while like even before they were married. Is that is that like a culture thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he said, he said it's not so much the culture nowadays, it's just like, when he grew up in like the 80s, that was the culture. Yeah, yeah. And he was just like, come on, I'm five and a half years, just get the finger out and get married. And I'm just like, dude, you're like, what, 20, she's like 22, 21? Yeah. No. I say you never get married until you're financially stable. Well, that's, I, I say the exact same thing about having kids. Right? Yes. I mean, I don't want to bash anyone who's, who's like having kids at like 18 or mm. 21 or whatever, but I, I always believe that you need to be financially ready to... Sometimes these things happen though. And yeah, yeah, like, but then we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna get into any controversial topics here, but I would no. say... So let's talk about the race wars. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, let's talk about going fast, you know, and like, what is the, ma what is the minimum speed you need to go in order to be able to, you know, consider yourself as going fast? Well, the national speed limit in the UK on a single carriageway is 60 miles per hour and a dual carriageway is 70 miles per hour, unless you're towing something. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, <laughs> I'm just saying, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, the, the, national, the right? fastest you can go in the UK is 70 miles per hour. Okay. So, to consider yourself... Let's get a Chaos Emerald. Oh, okay. What? What is this fuckery? This is the special zone. Uh, it's fucking special, alright. And this is the exact reason why I didn't want Tails in here, because he can fuck you over in this. He can truly fuck you over. You basically just gotta go and get rings. That's it. But yeah, okay. So the national speed limit is 70 miles yep. per hour. Yeah. That's the fastest you're legally allowed to go in the UK. Right. I would consider going fast. It would probably be half of that. So maybe 40 miles per hour. Okay. So Sonic, 40 miles per hour is the minimum speed you need to go to be able to Well, if you hit someone at 40, the, the, like they're more likely to die. Like there's like a... 60% or something increase in the chance that they'll die. Yeah, I think 20 miles per hour is sort of the maximum speed you need to go in order for death to be avoided. 
no, serious, 30, no, serious you injuries. Someone, you can hit someone at 30 and they can still, there's a good chance to live, but they'll be fucking, you know, yeah, why are we fucking hurt. Man, goddamn it, Sonic, right? If he goes that fast and he bumps into someone, how they're can, fucking dead. How can Sonic go at such speeds without goggles and his eyes not get burned out? You know, I saw a picture, right? Is it the one where he's like, where these are goggles? And yeah, he like, takes, <laughs> takes off the white bit of his eyes. And it's, it's like, Did you think this was one giant eyeball? We got it! We got the Chaos Emerald, right? Mm. But, <laughs> no, like... Why is it a Chaos Emerald? Because, right? It's because not, it's chaotic. It's not really set, it's just the name, Chaos Emerald. To be honest, I like the idea, I like the name, Chaos Emerald, it's pretty cool. But it also introduces, in Sonic Adventure 2, they introduce uh, the idea of uh, being able to use the Chaos Emeralds, and uh, use special powers. And there's one called Chaos Control, which basically lets you control time. Cool. Well, Chaos Control, is that another thing that Shadow always shouts? Chaos yeah, Chaos Control! Goes, chaos Control! <laughs> That's what it says. It says all the time. It either says that or it says Maria. Maria. Yeah, I do remember that because I have actually played Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow. Oh, don't even say Shadow. And the from Hedgehog. what I remember, I really enjoyed Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog was like, is like the bastard child. Of <laughs> There's like, so it's like it's, it's Shadow like, the Hedgehog is this Jon Snow. <laughs> if you wanna, if you wanna make games. Game of Thrones reference, yeah, is the Jon Snow. This like, on a shadow is a bit of a Jon Snow, isn't he? Well, I don't want to say Jon Snow because there's all these rumors going around that Jon Snow is the chosen one. Chosen one! I'm coming! <laughs> oh god, we're all over the place with this, right? We should get find a story and stick with it. <laughs> we're going all over the place. I fucking love what's that? Kung Pao and Kung Pao. Oh my god. Have you ever seen the room? Have we spoken about the room before? Well, I, I don't know if we've spoken about it, but I've seen the room. Everyone's seen the room. It's coming out on Blu-ray. I know. They're also, um, They've announced the room on Blu-ray. I'm also so excited. Oh, God. Okay. This is the easiest boss ever, by the way. Check it out. <laughs> oh, no! Eat your fucking words, Josh. I can't, believe, words, I can't believe I screwed that up so badly. What just say? Like, I, this I'm, is the easy- Look at me! I'm Josh, it's my birthday! No! Ah. I'm Josh, it's my birthday, it's the easiest- Oh, I'm fucking ruined it, Sonic. Oh, I'm from the north of England. See, you distracted me. I'm from the north of England, I am! Bloody hell! <laughs> I'm from Yorkshire. From Yorkshire. <laughs> from Bradford, actually. Bradford. Same fucking difference. Uh, Brad Bradford's a- I don't know. Young bit Could be worse, you could be from Burnley. Oh, no. Bradford's a lecture, a lecture right. of mine. Let me, let me try that again. Oh no, I screwed up. Right, hold a on. Lecture of mine from college or some Burnley. Let me do this thing. Right, okay. Ah! Okay. Right, let me try again. Five, six, seven. Right. There's eight hits for every. You have to beat him in eight hits. But basically, you just gotta jump on him like that. That's it. Boss done. Easy peasy. Motherfucker. That's the easiest boss. And he blasts off like Team Rocket. Blast off. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Why do I sound like Ben? Alright, you're right. the Pokemon Imagine if Bane joined Team Rocket. <laughs> Prepare for trouble! It's a, Make it double! <laughs> to protect the world from the devastation. To unite all peoples in our nation. <laughs> to denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars of Gotham. Bane. <laughs> and Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Team Rocket is blast off at the speed of light! Surrender now, Batman, or be prepared to watch up and burn. <laughs> Babe, that's right. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> uh, Oh no. Uh, Bane voice- Tom Hardy's Bane voice is one of the best things that ever happened to cinema. The <laughs> thing is, is that out of all the Batman movies, like... I consider that one to be the worst. Like of, out of every single no, Batman. No, film. out of the out of the, the Dark Knight trilogy. trilogy. Out of the Nolan oh no! Trilogy. Oh no! Anyway, it's definitely the worst out of the Dark Knight trilogy. But like, <laughs> I agree with you. I, 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 I'm still to this day. I have no idea what to think of, of Tom Hardy's Ben because like, like kudos, like good, good job to him for, for doing it. But it's just like Tom Hardy is a fantastic guy. Oh, he's like don't, you can't even fault the guy. Wow. I, I saw a video. Right? It was uh, of a, uh, a press conference or something like that. And he was in there and like, someone had asked him the question. Someone had asked him said, Oh, uh, how do you feel about uh, superstars, uh, not superstars, um, celebrities being questioned about their sexuality? And he was like, how do I feel about celebrities being questioned? 
I was like, yeah, well, uh, like people, people asking you about your sexuality. He's like, are you asking me about my sexuality? And he's like, uh, yeah. He's like, why? <laughs> you know, and that, that, like, that, that just says it all. Like, yeah, like, but like, how do you respond? Like, why are you asking me? Why does what, it matter? What, uh, what is it? Like, for one, why is it your fucking business? Yeah. And two, what, what difference does it fucking make? Yeah. Like, like, I'd like uh, I'd, as an actor myself, like, uh, like. If I ever became famous, fucking ace, that would be, you know. I don't know, Bitboss might make you famous. I mean, after this it'd episode comes dream, out. If I became a famous actor, it'd be a fucking dream come true. Because it's what I've trained to do, it's what I want to do. I want to be a... Well, I don't want to act for the fame. I want to act as it's what I enjoy doing. Exactly, you do but what like, you love. Like, th those questions make no fucking sense to me. It's like... Why do you do like I'm here to perform, I'm here to entertain. Why does my sexuality mean a fucking goddamn thing? Yeah, what difference is it? I mean like, like for years for years, no one questioned Ian McKellen's sexuality. Yeah. You know? Like, and the fact that he is a homosexual does not make any difference exactly. to his fucking life. Exactly. Like everyone just assumed that Ian McKellen was right. straight and then you know Yeah. The fact you know what what does knowing his sexuality what does that change about? Exactly. right, here's what right. If anything, you've Did learned you know more about that Henry Cavill was not the first choice for Man of Steel? Yeah, for Superman? Who was it? It was Matt Bomer. Okay. Right? But ah. apparently, Zack Snyder said ah. he did not want a homosexual man playing Superman because women will not desire him. I know for a fact that's fucking bullshit. Because well, my girlfriend, Alex, is basically in love with Matt Bomer. Yeah. And I have to deal with this fact. <laughs> <laughs> so. Who's Matt Bomer again? Oh shit, he's in, um... For the people who don't know. I actually I mean. don't really know anything he's in. He's in American Horror Story now. Like, he's just about to star in Hotel. Um... Uh, I think he's in Suits, or... One he's he's in Magic Mike as well. Name... I can't tell you anything he's been in. Ah, okay. I just know what it looks like because, like, of Alex's background. If he says he's in Suits... Like... Uh, I, do, you know, do, you know, do you know his role in Suits? No, genuinely, I, I, I really like Suits, so I could probably Genuinely, I don't know what he's in. I couldn't fucking tell you. Like, I'll look up his IMDb at the end and I'll be like, this guy. Do you like some jazz? Who doesn't like a bit of jazz? Isn't this like one of the most famous Sonic levels? You're having fun, Josh? I actually am. I'm having a lot of fun. Like, this is... This, like... You're, in this game, this is my sec second favorite level. This is you're, you're in you're in Sonic Heaven. I am. Honestly, I. Like, Straight to my birthday, and we play fucking Hyrule Warriors. I know, like you, I, know, I understand that you like you don't know what the hype is about Sonic, but like I don't know, there's something. I guess part. Well, it's, kind I of, it's kind of bad, but part of what makes Sonic good for me is the nostalgia. Well, I never played Sonic as a kid. Yeah, and I guess it makes sense. It makes sense why you wouldn't. Like, like, I didn't play Sonic as a kid at all. I didn't have... Yeah. Like, Sonic, I, Sonic was the first game I ever played in my life. I never had... Well, the first game I ever played... Well, the first video game I ever played was... Lilith Wars, or Star Fox 64. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was the first ever video game I played. Then it was... Uh, my other earliest gaming memories were... Uh, Super Mario 64... And GoldenEye. GoldenEye. <laughs> and then... We're, we're gonna we're gonna have to do that for a bit of battle at some point. And... Uh, Ocarina of Time, because I remember when my dad, I was off, what, how old was I when I got, when we got Ocarina? I was really young, I was like, I must have been five or six maybe when we got Ocarina of Time. And I remember getting it and getting to play it because my dad refused to let me play it. Yeah. Until I learned how to tie my shoes. Genuinely, I was not. <laughs> is that, is this like, is a true story. Can you tie your shoes yet? No, fucking not playing it. No, like <laughs> he forced me to learn how to tie my shoes, and I, then that's, it's a good way to get a kid to do anything. Really. Like, and thanks to Zelda, I can tie my shoes. So you know what? <laughs> that, if that, it wasn't cheers, for Zelda, Link. if it wasn't for Zelda games, I would be wearing Velcro shoes for the rest of my life. <laughs> I guess that's a quite Converse. Way to look Fuck it. that. Uh, Just yeah. give me a pair of slip-on Vans. <laughs> oh man. No, but that's like. And I remember when I was at school, me and all my buddies, we th we were all like, who could finish all Queen of Time the quickest? And I remember, like, after a month, everyone was like, oh, I'm at, like, the Forest Temple. And I, this is after a month, but nowadays yeah, I'm like, yeah. I can fucking get to the Forest Temple in a day, maybe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I just sat and played Ocarina. Well, I mean, like, it's, it's like I am with Sonic, like, yeah, I mean, you've seen me, so... Ah! Mm -hmm. You've seen me 
so yeah, yeah. speedrunning through this shit. Yeah, like, I'm I'm not as familiar. Well, I said I'm not familiar. I'm familiar with all the games, but um, I'm more comfortable with uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles than to the other two. I remember um, when I got Ocarina of Time on the 3DS. Yeah. Obviously, me think it's just the greatest fucking game ever. And I, I was playing it, and it, it gave me that sense of nostalgia. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Like, it's just exactly how I remember it, except it looks better. Yeah, exactly. I got to the Forest Temple, which, to me, I always considered the easiest of the Adult Link temples. Right? Yeah, yeah, I always thought, oh, god, that was the easiest one. But Colin always thought it was the hardest. And obviously, famously, the Water Temple being the... Everyone hits the Water Temple. The, the hardest level. So I get to the Forest Temple, and my first thought was, how the fuck did I do this as a kid? <laughs> I couldn't remember a fucking thing. Like, which one's this? Ocarina of Time? Ocarina of Time. I couldn't remember anything as I was playing through Forest Temple. It took me forever. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember, like, because I remember the, yeah. you, have the, you have the old Deku tree. Um, yeah. That's not the Forest Temple. Right? No, no, no. The Forest Temple, you have to go through the Lost Woods right. as an adult, and then you, oh, get, right, yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to have yeah. the hook shot as well. Oh, probably. But, um... I, when I, I eventually finished it, and then I tried the Master Quest, got to the Forest Temple, and I just couldn't do it. Like, I've never <laughs> finished the Master, I never got past the fucking Forest Temple in the Master Quest, and let alone get to the fucking Water yes, Temple. Is it boss time already? Yep. Jesus, you're flying through this game. Yep. Ah! Uh, this one's actually, this one's quite fun, because all you gotta do, you just gotta go up. Like that, you just gotta up. Oh. Well, you're fucking up, aren't you? Yeah, no, I just had to get my nose up. I've lost me mojo. You just spin like that and you go. It's like pinball, really. Alright, man, I just didn't fucking get Sonic. It's not doing. There you go, he's fucking dead. Yeah. It's like, it's just a different kind of game. Like, it has a different mechanic, therefore it plays differently. And you know, it's not like in Mario or uh, Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda, very much so, it's a, it's a adventure oh, game. every single Zelda game follows the same formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas but Mario, it works. Like, I guess the, the easiest thing to compare it to is Mario, where Mario is more like a, it's not about... Uh, what the fuck is that noise? Was that, that going to be some sort of like 16-bit saxophone? I think it is. That sounds like what I imagine cancer sounds like. Right, don't even make fun of song music because it is, right? Even if you complain about it, it is the best music you can get in a game at this time. Right, are you saying to me that Sonic has the best soundtrack in a video game ever? Is that not not ever, but for the, like at the time it came out, it had one of the best soundtracks. And to be honest, okay, at its time, yeah, maybe. But like even even Mario, like as memorable as soundtrack Mario. Oh no, has Mar been. Mario has like I wouldn't even say Zelda has, has. I think Zelda has an amazing soundtrack. And I it does not like once it entered the sort of orchestral realm. Or well, once, once it started doing ocarina. Yeah, like, what, like once it started using sort of symphonic. Uh, yeah. Uh, type music. Obviously, it wasn't proper fully. Because Skyward Sword was the first one to use uh, like actual orchestra music. Because um, um, Twilight Princess didn't. Oh no, no you're, you're right, you're right, yeah. Um, like, it actually used... Ah! Well, that was... That was lucky as fuck. <laughs> uh, actually used proper um, musical instruments in the soundtrack. Um, I'm still so excited for Zelda U, whenever it fucking comes out. Zelda U. Like, they, they, they've been talking about it for, for years now. Well, it's, it'll be out soon, I yeah. reckon. Well, I mean, you've got the, the Triforce uh, Warriors. Triforce Heroes, yeah. Triforce Heroes, sorry, not Warriors. I keep calling them Warriors, but it's not. Um, I, that game, I, I, I don't like the look of it at all, it doesn't bother me. Well, it's, it's another uh, Four Swords, really. That's, that's really the only joke I saw that. I'll tell you, um... Look at that. Beautiful. What I think probably has the best video game soundtrack has to go to Final Fantasy. It really Which does. Which one? All of them. All like, of them. Final Fantasy in general. Every single fucking Final Like, One Winged Angel from Final Fantasy what? 7 being the one that sticks out to me. Like, And I don't even like Final Fantasy as a game. Like, I only ever really played Final Fantasy 8 and Final Fantasy 14, but the, the soundtracks... You know a Final Fantasy song when you hear it. Yeah, well, to be honest, like... I mostly relate to Final Fantasy VII because that is the one that I played. I will get the HD remake. I yeah, will. Well, yeah, and Final Fantasy X as well. Like seven and ten have the, been the two games that I've enjoyed the most out of Final Fantasy. Did you ever play Final Fantasy VIII? Uh, yeah, I played it. I didn't play it all the way through though. Um, I never finished it either. But I mean, Final Fantasy—they are long games. But, oh, 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 I, no, no, I'm, not, 
Ew. There was a good chance I will get the Final Fantasy VII HD remake. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like people have been wanting it for years now. But the problem is with it is that it's gonna go. It can only go straight down the middle. I think it was, was it, when is it they announced it? E3 was it? It was E3 they announced it and like that. It's for reasons like that why I watched E3. Like, like I remember yeah. my but, like the problem with it's always it's, it can only go down the middle in terms of reaction. Like, there's absolutely no chance that there's going to be a resounding, I like this game. Mainly because there's going to be people who think, you know, it's not, oh, shit. It's not as good as what the original is going to be. Like, a lot of people really, oh, it's oh, my chance, my chance, my chance. Um, a lot of people really just like the way the original looked. Like, you know, with its bad graphics, but it was, it was quirky and they liked it. But then there's people who are going to really like the sort of nice fresh look on it. Yeah. But it's never going to be a resounding, yes, this is better than the original. Yeah. Well, my friend Kevin, he's probably the biggest Final Fantasy fan I know. Yeah. Um, I remember he, on E3, he was like, oh, like, the day of E3, he was like, can't wait to see another Final Fantasy VII HD remake, folks. And then he was like, holy fucking shit. It's actually, real! He was like, it's actually happening. Yeah, like, people have people been wanting it for so long. Only so that they can say that it's there and they can... So they can, like, you know, decide what, if they would rather have the original or the HD remake. It's all about choice, really. You know, would, would I rather play the original or would I rather play the HD remake? One, I two, personally... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Nice. How long have we been recording for? Oh, a while. Oh no, we'll have a look later. We'll have a look when we're done with this game. Oh, this game's at, like, different with Sonic 1, this game, I, you've probably noticed that I'm zooming through this. I'm like, maybe halfway through the game right now. Yeah, but we have other shit to do. Ah, uh, it's fine, don't worry. <laughs> as long we... as we can get to Sonic 3, I'm happy, because Sonic 3 is my favourite one. Or Sonic well, 3 and Knuckles, though. Should we jump to Sonic 3? Well, uh, you see, you're in, you're in such a rush, you're in. Like, do you really want to be in a rush? Let me ask you that. You in, do you really I want to be in Rush, the band. Want to be, you, do you really want to be in Rush? Like, like if you had a choice, do you, like, who would you be in Rush? Like, what, what instrument would you play? Well, I, 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 I do play guitar. Yeah, but do, you play it, do you play it as good? <laughs> well, do, 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 you mean, do I have to be a new member of Rush, or can I choose? No, you, you are you in, in Rush. You're not, you're not like a member of Rush. Oh, I'd be the fucking exists. tambourine player then. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, I think Neil Peart has that covered. Is that, well, I mean, he's the drummer, if yeah, you didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I know he's the drummer. But he's, he's, pretty much, he's got the tambourine covered, as well as every other instrument on his drum kit. Why, why is he? What a great song. Wow, very much made famous by Guitar Hero. <laughs> like, no, very much is so shit. made famous by Rush. No, it was like, yeah. Like, obviously Rush made it famous because they wrote it or whatever, but... Uh, like... Tom Sawyer. A lot of people hadn't this. heard of it, except for when it came out on Good Hero and everyone could play it and it was like, Oh my god! Little, little, little story here. Um, I had Guitar Hero... Uh, two. World three. Tour? That's... That's... Three... Four. Yeah, it was a fourth. I got it for my... 16th, 17th birthday. You seem unsure about all of these things that you're saying. World I'm tall. 16th, 17th birthday. I got birthday? it for my birthday one year. Okay. And I traded it in quickly because the guitar controller, because I had the new touchpad thing. Yeah. And if you touched it, it was like strumming it. It didn't work properly, so like oh the my. slightest touch on it would make it strum. So it would always strum on its own. Yeah. So I traded it in, and Rock Band is a far superior game. I'm sorry, it, it really is. Well, like you have the choice. They've done it again because it was a time when it was Guitar Hero versus Rock Band, and the, and it's happening again right now. I can't because guitar, wait. Because Rock Band comes out next week. What? Rock yeah. Band comes out next week? Yes, Rock Band comes out next week. Are you fucking serious? I am serious. Oh my god, I know what I want for my birthday. Um, we're actually setting it, because obviously, uh, I work in, uh, I so work in Rock Band's out next week? Yeah, it, it's out on the 6th. Rock Band 4 is out next week? Yeah. Um, but... Um, because oh, I, 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 work, I, work, is out. I work in a video game store. Sorry, hold on. Rock Band 4 is out? <laughs> yeah. Um, Guitar Hero comes out, I think, the week after. Um, but yeah, I work in a video game store, a video game retailer rather, and uh, we we are set, we are setting up guitar, uh, the rock bands 
for a competition. Is this you hinting towards? Like, you should come to my work for the competition. No, I'm, I'm not trying to promote it or anything. I'm not saying that so you like, should go. I'm just saying that like. I'm does the new game come with new like new instruments as well? Yeah, because it, it's a uh, next gen only. Oh, not sorry, not next gen only, but it's, it's right. next gen. So it's going to be a whole new instrument. How be... much is Rock Band Four on the PlayStation Four with drums? Um, I think it with drums. The full band itself, I think it's like eighty quid. What? For like for the full band, not just with drums. It's with guitar, uh, guitar, guitar vocals and drums. Guitar vocals and drums. And game. 80 quid, did you say? Yeah, 80 quid, I'm pretty sure. But all the instruments? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. That sounds like Tom Fillery to me. That that sounds like a lie. Because I saw someone tweet about it saying, should I really get a hunt rock band for £110? Well then, it'll probably be £110. I might be lying. I might be thinking of just the... Uh, I really want to get the drums for it, but at the same time... Well, here's the thing, right? Where would I put them? You know, it's probably right uh, being £110, because you know how much the, the starter pack for LEGO Dimensions is? Which is the Portal and four characters and the game. Do you know which how much it is? I'm also pretty excited for. Do you know how much it is? It's out already. Really? LEGO Dimensions is out. Yeah, it came out on the 29th. Oh, shit. Uh, no, how much is it? £100. For the starter pack. Fuck that noise. LEGO is way too expensive these days. Yeah. Thing is, is though, the uh, thing is, sorry, let me, let me read that. The thing is, oh, Jesus Christ, um, is that Warner Brothers have announced that they're expecting a three year, at least a three year lifespan on the game with, uh, before you need to get a new portal. At least. Which means but you have to build the portal as well, don't you? I don't think you have to build it. You probably might have to, I don't know. But that's, that's also kind of fun. Well, but, yeah, it's Lego. I'd expect you If you compare it. it to like Skylanders or, or Disney Infinity, uh, where they're bringing out a new game every year. A three year lifespan. No, no, that, yeah. A hundred pound price tag, is, you're actually saving a fair bit of money. Yeah, I agree. Plus, That's... with the new characters that you buy, because you can buy like team packs and you can buy- I just can't believe Rock Band's out. Yeah, Rock Band comes out next week, so. Uh... No, then by the time this episode airs, Rock Band Oh wait, yeah, out. sorry. Yeah, I'm, I completely forgot. By the time this uh, episode's out, sorry everyone, by the time this episode's out, Rock Band will also be out, and Ewan will probably be purchasing it. I won't, I don't have any fucking money. He'll probably be in my store right now, playing it. I'm working all of next week, so no, I won't. By the way, he won't be in our store right now, because he's right here with me, getting drunk, playing Sonic, well, getting watching, drunk. watching me, fucking drunk. watching me play Sonic the Hedgehog. Yep, just fuck me playing this game. I know. Royce, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't even know how long we're fucking recording for. I, d I don't really care. I'm having a lot of fun. Like, there's not, like, I can play this game like a million times over and it's fun for me every time. It's great. I love Sonic. Thank you, Sonic. That means so awesome. Thank you, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic! Thank you, well, thank you, internet, for ruining Sonic. I really? <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, Sega, for ruining Sonic. You motherfuckers. Whoa. Shh. <laughs> Nintendo if tried if saving Sonic. If there's one thing I, don't, <laughs> I want to try from Sonic, I want to try a chili dog. Chili dog? I'm yet, I'm... Sonic's favourite delicacy. Yeah. One of so uh, Sonic's favourite. Although, like, they never really bring attention. Oh, I should probably get that. They never really bring attention to it except for in Sonic durations. Like, it started off in the TV pro. In the, in the anime. <laughs> chili dogs, whoa! <laughs> chili dogs! Gotta go fast, whoa, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! That's the worst Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know what it fucking sounds like. Sonic the Hedgehog! He sounds like Chaos a... Emeralds! He sounds like a fucking douchebag. It's uh well he was originally voiced by uh, a beautiful gentleman called Jaleel White. Uh, and they keep changing his voice actor, but Jaleel, uh, Jaleel White was uh, generally the voice actor for most versions of Sonic. Like Has he done anything important? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jaleel White, the Sonic, Sonic. Uh, and, and he's done a couple of other things as well, I can't remember what else. Um, but he's most famous, I think he's most famous for... Oh, look at that, I've glitched out of the thing! Oh, oh no! He's most famous for Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, he's most famous for, for, for the most, like, for the version of Sonic the Hedgehog you think of in your head when you think of his voice. Like, the voice that you think of, that's Jaleel White. Remember the really shitty Sonic cartoon? Which one? Which one? <laughs> with, right, so, like... It depends on which one you talk about. Like, apparently the most recent Sonic cartoon, the one Sonic that's X. based... The one that's based off, like, the latest shitty game. Oh, uh, Where he's got a fucking scarf. Yeah, the, where they've redesigned him. Well, 
Yeah, all people all... complain about the redesign, but they keep forgetting that Sonic's had gone through a couple of different redesigns mm -hmm. and he's actually grown up. Yeah. And this is him in his sort of adult stage. Apparently, the latest incar incarnation of the cartoon is very self-aware. Like it's a cartoon. The, like the cartoon is very self-aware and that, it's got that I kind hate, of dry humor. I hate, I hate cartoons that do that. I love it. I think, like, that's, I think that's the best thing a cartoon can do. For example, I, I think there's a line where Sonic's like, Danger is my middle name! And Knuckles goes, What's your middle name, this <laughs> girl? <laughs> well, no, that, 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 like, that's different. Like, I, I, I was, I thought you were talking about, like, uh, when they sort of talk to the camera. Or, oh, no, I like that. Like, when they, when they say, Oh, it, it, after all, we're just a cartoon, you know. No, 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 it's not like that. Like, one of my favorite self aware moments was in uh, Phineas and Ferb. It was obviously set during summer, it was like just to the summer holidays. Yeah. Have you ever seen Phineas and Ferb? I have seen Phineas and Ferb. And there's an episode where, I think I've spoke about this on... I fucking have. I spoke about this during Alien Isolation. You did. Where, like, the the evil dog was like, this summer's been going on for like four years now, what, what's going on? <laughs> it's great. Like, yeah, I spoke about this during Alien Isolation. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for Pokemon to catch up to the idea that Ash Ketchum doesn't grow up. Well, the fact that Ash actually... Ash actually died in a Pokemon movie and he's currently in Purgatory. Oh, uh, that's one of the theories. The other theory is that he's currently in a coma in a vegetative, in a vegetative state after the, the third episode of Pokemon where he gets attacked by Spiro. And that, that, that moment actually put him into a coma and everything that's happened after it has actually just been um, something that his mind has come up with. Well, he must be getting some trippy drugs in that fucking hospital then. Like, well, it's not that, it's just that it's subconscious, like, he's, it's just recycling information that he already has to create new information. How about that? How about that? Science, folks! Oh, well, that, science. um... Right, do we, do we want to play... It's, it's getting like Do we want to play Sonic 3 now, or should we? Let me finish the level, and then we'll play Sonic 3. Are you sure we'll have time? Because I think we've been going at this for about an hour now. You know what? We'll be back right second. Right, okay, so uh, we're gonna finish the level and then, uh, and then, we're, then we're gonna end it there, so we'll finish the level. Anyway. Because too much Sonic makes you drunk, you in. Oh look at that, I finished the level! Really? It's, it's the boss fight. That's the boss fight. Which means it's actually at the end of the level. Oh wow, well, I didn't know we were that close to it. Yeah. You could do one more. Three, four. What, one more level? Yeah. Okay. Surprise, I think, <laughs> I think after this... I'll let you play a little bit more of it. Ah, I think after this we're actually at um, the second to last level. We're not finishing Sonic 2. We probably could finish Sonic ah! I want to go to my bed at some point. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Ah! This is the latest we've ever recorded for the sole fact that we're getting so drunk. True. And I didn't even got completely drunk. I'm, I'm just... Me, on the other hand. Yeah. But to be fair, you did, you did drink quite a bit beforehand. Which is your own to, fault. To be fucking fair, I'm pretty fucking composed. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> you've got, you've got, you got a foul mouth on you, but when I have a foul mouth on me when I'm fucking sober, uh, we could watch through all of our previous Fuck. videos. Yeah. So right, okay. If you want, if you want me to do another level, this is Metropolis Zone. This is the only zone in the whole of Sonic Two that has three acts in it. Okay. Well, you can do this one. I can do the one act. What? Oh Jesus! <laughs> I don't think I should fucking watch this episode. It's fucking motion sickness. Yeah. It's actually a great level. Twice we, we didn't even get- Oh to, god, robot crabs! We didn't even get to the best level. Oh! Motherfucker. You died. Get I've actually- here. I've actually died a fair few times and you just haven't taken it from me. Well, I wanna play. <laughs> I wanna take on the fucking robot crab, face my fear head on. Yeah, like, the best level in the, in the whole site too, which is my favourite level, is probably oh, the- Oh shit! Uh, the Wing Fortress zone. It's a great. Stand on it, stand on it, it'll throw you up. Stand on it, it'll just throw you up. Don't jump! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell no. You got that was not worth it. You lost wings. And, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hoocha! There we go. Sonic, gonna go fast. Whoa. Yeah. It's a shame we're not gonna have time to play Sonic 3. Maybe next yeah. year we'll continue. Maybe on we'll this. do a one off. Maybe, you know, I'll be nice and let you fucking play Sonic 3. Go. No, I honestly think that next year we should just continue on from this. And we'll just play- I'll just play Sonic 3, Sonic Adventure 1, and Sonic Adventure 2. And then we'll stop there because every game after that is terrible. I don't know, I think we should play Sonic Heroes. We'll- we'll- we'll, 
Remember when we played Sonic Heroes? No, like we keep getting people asking us to like what happened to Sonic oh, Heroes. Oh, there's a button. We will finish Sonic Heroes, just uh, just not right now. We're trying. We're still trying to get over because. We're having a bit of an issue with recording on the PS2. Oh my god, that hurt my eye. Ah! Scyther! Scyther! <laughs> every uh -huh. Pokemon game. A perfectly recorded Pikachu going Pikachu. And then every other Pokemon is just screams of the dam. Ah! <laughs> Victory Bell, go! Ah! <laughs> That's Bell. what it is. Victory Bell is literally just a scream. Even in the TV show, it is just a scream. <laughs> Every Pokemon is just the screams of the damned unless it's Pikachu. No, what what the fair is it? Ah! Ah! The fair! Oh my god. Oh, oh! Yep, welcome to Metropolis. How can Sonic enjoy this? Sonic doesn't enjoy it. Holy shit. This do, you is... think, do you think a superhero enjoys saving the world every time? No, he doesn't. Oh he my just, god, what's happening? He's just happening? gotta do it. He's just gotta do it. How do I spin death? Uh, down and any button. You know that. <laughs> you can literally push any button into it. What's this. cool is that um, in so if you become Super Saiyan, I mean Sonic, um, his doubt his crouching button it changes. Oh, you're gonna crush yourself, dead. Ah, uh, fuck this game. Well done. Oh my god, it's going from the start again. Yep, well done. This level is actually difficult to watch. Like I'm genuinely watching it going. I just realized I had my mouth covered the entire time. Yeah. I'm watching it like, oh my god. Maybe because I'm also fucking drunk. Yeah, but, you're getting motion sickness from it. Fuck. Ah. At least I killed the fucking crap. What the f- Do you see that shit? Are we gonna call it quits? You know we are gonna call it quits, because I don't even think I'm gonna- Have you had a happy birth- Oh, I just held your hand there. I went to grab your knee, but you moved your hand. Oh. Have you had a- <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! I don't know what that is. Luigi! Right. <laughs> Have you had a happy birthday? I've had a, I've had the happiest. Wow, of that was a good pause. <laughs> You're welcome. I've had the happiest of birthdays. It's just because the music suddenly died, and I'm like, oh, oh. we're getting serious. We're getting, we're getting serious for a second. I love you. I love you too, Josh. Uh, Thank you for joining us for this mega fucking long episode. Yeah, and um, to celebrate Joshikin's birthday. Exactly. I'm probably gonna do this in a month's time for Ewan's birthday. Oh my god, Zelda! I cannot wait. Uh, which one did we say we were going to play? Hyrule Warriors, because it was the best one to do for a while. Oh, that's right, because, yeah, because uh, it was going to be, because we both like Dynasty Warriors, and you like You Zola. say, we, and we can we can technically do it multiplayer, but we, we we don't know how to capture the fucking second screen on the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a fucking hassle, but anyway, uh, thank you for thank you for joining us on what is my birthday, but technically it isn't, because Drunk we, caught force. It, we caught it a week in advance. It's Drunk Force. It's Drunk Force, and... Uh, yeah, like us on Facebook and follow us on ah uh, fucking Sonic. Yeah. Uh, follow us on the fucking Twitter. Follow us on the Twitter if you really like the episode. Let us know because then it'll make more sense when we do it for you and birthday. Uh, would you rather us be drunk more often? Please let us know. <laughs> I would. I would. You know, I don't. I don't mind being drunk. It's great. Um, and maybe next time, let us know. Actually, let us know if you like the length of Look the, at the video. Look at the fucking sass Sonic it, is giving us right now. Sonic, you know, he does that thing with the finger where he just goes ah ah ah. You know, but anyway, let us know if you like the sort of length of the video, because it is going to be, this one is a long one. Um, let us know if you like it's the length. Doozy. Would you rather it be shorter or longer or what? Would you rather it be drunker yes, or yes. my girlfriend the same thing about my penis. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend likes the size of my penis, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you just straight in there with a, God damn it, she loves my penis. <laughs> She'll love it or she'll leave. Uh, that, um, thanks for watching for sorry. Josh's birthday. Yeah, I'm getting too real now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bye-bye. Love you all. Merry Christmas.